birthday for uh, earlier in the week, 260. Oh, Congratulations. Massive yeah, crash. Oh, oh, sorry, we're going to have to come back to you there. That's Scott Perhaps, Pye. That's a massive crash. It's gone straight ahead at turn two and made very, very heavy impact with the outside wall. There's guardrail. Let's listen. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I can't put it as much as I could. It was okay. It was a complete failure. When he says pumping, he's talking about pumping the brakes. So he's had some brake issue yeah, down there. This right, is a there we are. Lucas Dumbrell Motorsport entry driven oh, by I Scott Pye. That is a massive accident when they go headlong into a wall like that. The forces that go through the chassis are extreme. Fortunately, he's OK. Oh, Porsche medical car there with Dr. Carl Lee, Lee running now, over to Pye. see Scott's okay. okay. That's a, a, very much a straight on. And it's, it's just from the sound of that radio communication, it's been a brake failure of some description. Whether that's a front brake rotor explosion or a hydraulic problem. And this is going to be a shot now. You see straight ahead, hasn't retarded at all. And bang in. That's as heavy front impact as we've seen for a long time. Lucky not to flip over here. You watch the force of this impact and what it does to the e -Cole Commodore. Nose first, flips right up. And the crowd, understandably, are scared of that one. It's the wow, biggest it's one that Scott Pye will ever have. And some people just can't watch. So, nasty image. Here it is again. Listen, just listen. Yeah, so it skated through the gravel. Wyatt skated through there. We heard Scott say, I was pumping, I was pumping. So it kind of suggests that there's either a suspension or a brake failure. We'll get on top of it. Someone else has gone in front of us here. One of the Valvoline cars. Canto's gone. Huge, huge moment there. And John Bauer makes light contact with him. He scattered one of the foam signs. And Cando's had a monster moment. And it's because they'll have dropped the right rear off in the long loaded left hander at turn seven. Oh, he's reversing. Oh, steady here, Dean. Okay, now you can. You can reverse up. Oh, you're okay. Yeah, there he goes. Whoa, Runs wide. Whoa, whoa. Big monster, monster moment on the grass. And there's the sign, I think the big pond sign looking a little worse for wear and eventually John Bauer makes contact at about 15 k's, so no great damage done. That could have been a lot worse. Spectacular. Yeah, he got out of Oof. it not too bad really, didn't he? Wilson was sideways in the dirt, gets back on track and the big stretch up to the hairpin. Courtney's under siege there. Bright's got away, there's been a massive crash. Huge shunt. Cars into the wall halfway down the old front straight. And it's Lowndes. And this will be a safety car, and that's Lowndes. One of the super cheap cars is in there. And Wind Cup was involved as well. Um, the car hit there, the mate? wall very right hard on the left, right near the marshalling point as we go on board here with Craig. I've got going again. Greg Murphy. Jamie Wincup's the other car. Boy, that looked ugly. Zinger replay. Look further down. Ooh. Someone is heavily, heavily into the back of Jamie Wincup's car. This is the beauty of the onboard cameras can try and unravel something here. What has gone on there? Is that Paul Dumbrell, Paul Dumbrell? On the left, Greg Murphy tries to split them and Lowndes just gets covered in dirt and dust and gets turned around. Still don't fully understand why Jamie ends up getting turned around. Does this tell more of the story? Ah. Yeah, so for some reason, Wincup and Dumbrell are disputing track position on the left. And... Uh, right next to that marshalling point. It's just before the braking area, though. They, they, they haven't started to brake at that point. It's just... Oh, it's a bad, bad incident, isn't it? And you can see how dry and dusty it is here at the moment. And, of course, there's a good 
15, maybe 20 cars here. Oh, oh in the fence, in the wall. hard. Now, that may well trigger, and there's another car, Ricky Dello, involved. Car this will be safety flag, car. Safety car, safety car, flag, safety car We've just been talking about Dean Fiore setting the fastest time around the circuit. There's race control swinging straight into action. And the gentleman standing in the centre there is Greg Crick, who's fulfilling the role that Thomas Mazira normally handles, but Thomas is unable to join us this weekend as a driving standards observer. He's a guy with a lot of racing experience, and that's a, a messy scene there. Relatively light contact on the outside tyre wall for Dean. What happens as soon as you go off the road, it's so wet in the outfield, as you can see there, you just, I mean, you're just a passenger. Basically, the car, you can just see the amount of grip is almost zero. Oh, Tanner down the inside, side by side. They're all fumbling. This will give Jason Richards a run on Tanda and Scaife. Tanda's going to drop three spots as a result of that. Lowndes goes by as well. And possibly Courtney. Oh, there's damage. There's damage. It's got steering damage on it. He can't steer the car. He's off the road. Oh, no, this is bad. Incredible. The championship leader with major damage to his car is now a passenger. And he's out of race three. That's, that really frightened me because when a car crosses the road in the, in the path of others... Put your locks under the front and let's have a quick look, OK? Rob Crawford. Oh, no. More trouble at turn seven. Involving Huge amount. four cars. HRT, Jack Daniels. I think it's Todd Kelly. Super cheap auto team, uh, Team safety BIC. Car, mate, safety car again, safety car. And there's another car You're involved okay, in that as well. Copy that. Keep, keep it cool, buddy. Owen keep Kelly's cool, in there. Owen Kelly. Uh, can't pick which of the Team BOC cars it is. Obviously, Shane Price and Paul Dumbrell. How he didn't end up nailing half the field down here is an absolute miracle. I, you know, I just held my breath. I thought, I really seriously thought there was going to be a monstrous crash down there, and it would not be a good thing for him to T-bone someone in that manner. This is uh, the other incident involving the other incident Todd Kelly. Of, uh, all, the, all the nonsense where there was a bunch of cars stuck, interlocked down at turn seven. Pretty slick job. Oh, into the wall. Macaulay Jones has been turned. Is anyone else coming to the side? Forwards in there. And his teammate, Macaulay's oh, teammate no. Smith is in there as well. Can you believe it? And Mason Barbera as well. Slippery track. Trying to get through turn three. And in those conditions, yeah, it just, just amplifies all that situation. Poor Brad Jones. Two cars in that for BJR. His oh, two man. cars. His son is, as well, obviously, driving the 14. McCauley, look at the damage to the front of it. There's Bryce Fullwood out. Unsighted, really. Mason Barbera and Bryce Fullwood couldn't really get a vision through the cars that were ahead of them and they just became part of his. McCauley all right? She, he's having a little bit of a limp there. So he's given his leg a whack. Maybe one of those hits that he got on the side. Maybe he's just giving his, uh, his thigh a bit of a jab against the seat. Here's a replay from the fence. So sideways, Kostecki, one of them just... Oh, he hit the fence. So a glance on the fence by, I think, one of the Kostecki brothers. Look at the cars in the background coming under the under the bridge now. So Kostecki, oh, that was really, that was really unfortunate. No one really doing anything wrong from what I can see there. Oh. Kostecki was was on the inside of McCauley. McCauley's sort of inadvertently just used a little bit more road, maybe not knowing that he had an overlap and probably forced to be there as he tried to get on the throttle. Another shot. Yeah. It was just a little bit of two into one. Slippery racetrack forward and then Jack Smith. Wow, that's a big hit. Which is then confirmed by the amount of damage to the front of the 21 car. Mason Barbera nowhere to go either. Sat it on the rear tyres and he scooted away. Oh, big trouble, big trouble down here at turn four. We've got Hive Gardener, Wind Cup and Waters. One, two, three, into the rocks. Jamie's going to get out of there. I'm not sure about the others. There might be something on the road. Got to be. So there must be something on the road for so many people to find trouble. So it's oil out of Waters' car. 
There's oil out of Waters car there. You can see the trail of oil there. They're all off. They're all off. Ben Gisbergen's off. Mark Winterbottom's just got him. Ben Gisbergen's parked. Can he get back out? He's going to grab reverse now. Grant McPherson looking on. This is huge because Ben Gisbergen's been caught out by that oil. Oh, uh, and Tim Edwards shaking his head. Will Davison in the meantime has gone to the lead. Craig Lowndes from Mark Winterbottom. This is an unbelievable game sometimes. Local yellows only, we understand. Can you believe this? The guy that earlier in the day, Will Davison, who took the pole position. Yeah, he didn't get it out, mate, because they're not going to come and play you. You're just going to get a move until we get some points. The world has opened up in front of him, and Will Davison's got the lead of this race. And look at that for a scene. Waters, you can see the trail of oil. He took a bunch with him, including Heingartner and Windcup, and continuing to try and drag the Red Bull car out. Van Gisbergen is doing everything. It'll be making massive water temperature in that car stationary, but it's all over for him now. He might be hoping to be classified, but his day is essentially done. Here's the replay of exactly what's gone on here. So Waters is fired up there. Can't stop it on his own oil. Leaves the telltale trail. There it is. Quite evident in the middle of the car, under the rear bumper. And here we are with Winkup. Listen to this when he gets up here on the oil. Some days are just like that, aren't they? More of the replay. This is the other angle for Waters. And in they come. High gun, Crunch. Winkup. And then about to arrive on the scene unaware of the fact that there's so much oil there is this man race leader shane van gisbergen tried to stop it had full left lock on was on the lock stops grabs reverse and is well buried up there one and a half second margin will davison over craig lowndes we're still looking at replay vision here james moffat tangled up in it all as well and the track is filthy up there at the moment so there's Van Gisbergen. Have a go at Frosty. So he's been carted high and wide as well. At least he got away with it. Meantime, for Will Davison, it's a hallelujah moment. So he's just come out the other side, struck by lightning, leader of the race. One, one of the more bizarre things. That's what happens when you're the pioneer. When you're doing it, he's in. That's a massive crash there for Tanda. He's smart. That's Rick Kelly involved. Tim Blanchard, Moffat. They're all involved. Have a look at this. This will be red flag. That is a red massive flag, crash. Red flag, red flag. All cars are to stop on the grid in order, please. In their current order, all cars to stop on the grid with caution, please. De Silvestro, Rulo, Moffat, Pye, Blanchard, Tander, Percat, Rulo, I mentioned. My goodness me. That 11 cars is a staggering scene in Tasmania and there's another Brad Jones car in there after the difficult day they've had Rick Kelly massive damage on that car that's Will Davison that's decimated that is huge one third of the field the damage on the back of Courtney's car both the Mobile One HSV cars are involved. Both of the Gary Rogers cars are involved. It's a car park at Simmons Plains. It's Taz Douglas just walking towards that's the front of, I think that's Courtney's car that's back there. Wow. Scofie, you did the count. I think you said 11 cars. Correct? Yeah. That's more than five million dollars worth of racing cars sitting there and most of them look like they're in a pile of trouble technically there's a huge amount of damage out there it's like 10 pin bowling now let's ride with will davison we'll just be quiet here for a sec hurts from this 
far back. That is a serious, serious accident. Another angle. And then it's a question of, I mean, people just can't react. I mean, there's cars flying everywhere. You've got no grip. You can't see. There's metal every which way. Now with Courtney. 